Thank all of you. What a wonderful turnout. When we were coming here, somebody told me that Colorado Springs is supposed to be a conservative city. Not what I saw today. All right. All right, all the like, did you, were you guys able to hear the remarks? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you can see the guy in person, right? So I don't want to go over it again, but I just want to, want to say this. Uh, here's the truth. Yeah. The election on Tuesday is consequential, not just for the next four years, but for decades to come. You know, whether the issue is women's rights, whether the issue is climate change, whether the issue is making public colleges and universities tuition free, etc., etc. Enormous issues that have got to be dealt with, and the only candidate running for president who can deal effectively with them is Hillary Clinton. Now, now it turns out there are about a dozen battleground states, and you are one of them. What the polls show is on Monday, Hillary's ahead by two points, and the next day, Trump is ahead by three points. Back and forth it goes. So it's going to be a very close election. I happen to believe that nationally, this election will probably end up coming down to a very few electoral votes, and it could well be the votes here in Colorado. So what I would ask you very, very much is to do everything that you can, not only to vote, of course, but to bring out friends. If you bring out two or three friends, you've tripled what you can do beyond your vote. So in the next three days, do everything you can to see that Secretary Clinton wins here in Colorado. And then I hope the day after you will join many of us in fighting for a political revolution that tells the billionaire class that this country belongs to all of us and not the Koch brothers and a handful of other billionaires. So thank you all. I'm really just amazed that so many people came out today. Thank you so much. Let's go forward together.